This is Glass Board Learning. I'm Mr. Chen. Let's do some math. Here are the problems for today. I want you to pause the video and try them out yourself first. Then press play so you can check your work and your answers with me. All right, let's do it. For number 16, I have three numbers. I have 38%, 8 over 25, and 0 0.401. My goal is to try to list these three numbers from least to greatest. Hey, there are a lot of different ways that you could do this problem. Um, let me see, I could convert them all into fractions or decimals or percents. Um, let's just make them into decimals, why not? Let's see, I have 30% there, that's the same thing as 0.38. I'm gonna move it, move the decimal point to the left two times, so that's 0 0.38. Uh, this one, I'm just gonna write 0 0.41, because that's easy. Okay, and really the most challenging one here is this one, but it's not even that hard. Um, it's 8 over 25. I want to make it into a fraction out of 100. Okay, so I'm gonna write 100 here. 25 became 100 because you multiply by 4, and I wanna make this equivalent. So 8 times 4, that's gonna be 32. Now 32 over 100, that's the same thing as 32 hundredths. So you're gonna say 0.32, so that's 32 hundredths, right? So we know, oh, well, we know that this is the smallest one. The second smallest one is this one. And the largest number is this one. So I'm gonna put a three right there and that's your answer. For number 17, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna list this from least to greatest. Uh, let's make all of them into decimals again, why not? 68%, move the decimal point to the left twice, put a decimal point there. So this is the same thing as 0.68. Uh, 0.63? Oh yeah, same thing as 0.63. And then 13 over 20, um, 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 oh, let's set the denominator into 100, okay. So 20 became 100, I'm trying to figure out equivalent fractions, equivalent ratios. 20 became 100 because you multiply by 5. So 13 times 5, let me see, what's 13 times 5? 13 times 5, 5 times 3, that's 15. 5 times 1, that's 5, plus 1, that's 6. So I can say that this is 65. And then this is 65 hundredths, so I can say this is 0 0.65. And then my smallest number, oh, it's gonna be this one right here. I'm gonna put a 1 there. My second smallest number is this one right there. Put a 2 there. And my largest number is gonna be that one. So I'm gonna put a 3 there. And boom, that's your answer. If you thought this tutorial was helpful, make sure you like the video and subscribe to my channel so you can get the latest updates. Until then, I'll see you guys next time.